Hello everyone, today I'm going to be off-roading the Sherrier Tograk. So let's talk a bit about the car. This is the 150 DQX, so it has 150 horsepower. Uh, I think something uh, like that. But I think it's PS 150 PS, so 148, 150, something like that. It's diesel, and you can tell from the sound. That's a diesel sound. Four cylinder, obviously. It's actually only brush, it's not the garbage front wheel, but it's and it has the all terrain package. So it's a crossover, so it's not made for off road, it's made to take your kids to soccer practice, right? Like, seriously, these plastic bits are just made to look for the car to look more rugged. It does nothing, actually. It probably does something, but it's so tacky. So tacky, it would look so much cleaner if they would. They had probably move it in the package that you pay money for, to be honest. Oh god, gravity is doing its thing. Just turn on the parking wheel. So, this thing is basically the Sherrier Vivas, but the hatchback, but it has a different suspension and it has different bumper, it's a nice front lights and it has those plastic leaves that I don't like that soccer moms love because it makes more, more activity and more tough more off-road so this thing is thing off-road it's supposed to be the all-terrain package right and you might be wondering why am I uh, talking about how crap this thing is like the demon G team Made this where they made it, it's inspired by the real crossovers, right? It's inspired by the real crossovers. Design and so the goal is it's trained without damage or there's a the goal is to not meet the auto rotation. That's the goal. So what happened is basically scout kind of Kind of look for the flattest points. So, full scratched by the side. Go a skill point. Look at how soft the suspension is. Like. The ride right out is technically higher, but it does not matter because the car, but it's compressing all the time. So the car is, so when you look at this thing, the body is, it, it, it's so bad. By driving my ride heights already, just by pressing the gas. It's so bad, stiffen it up just a little bit. Sherrier can't even make it a proper off-road, a proper off-train package. In the end, the car is actually lower when Which makes it even arguably worse. If it does not it makes the package less. Every single right height I have, but I don't have much of it. It's just enough to get caught. Probably not. Off-roadiness, but then it's an off-roadiness. Oh 
Okay, this is bad. I want to avoid these branches. Yeah, my top, my wheels will skip over it, but I have to be careful still. Okay. Please don't get my side skirts grounded. Okay, that's the wheels. Nothing happened. The car is still in showroom condition. At least if when it gets washed. Yeah, it's basically this one doesn't have any damage. Which is good. Slow and steady does not have any scratches. They still win the race, but they don't have scratches. Scratches are all I care about, as well as dents. Look how low this thing actually is. Like on the flat food, it looks high, but then you're scammed. The alternate package is useless. All it does is make you feel the off road spirit when you turn on the off road ESC. Oh god, no. A hard obstacle. Now, what am I supposed to do? Let's see the flattest head to the ground. This is basically extreme rock rolling. Oh no, side skirts damaged. Okay, this is a bad sign. Let's try this part. This is basically like extreme rock roll into the poor tall crack. It's not made for this. It's made for going over speed bumps with off road spirits. That's all it's made for. Oh no! underbody of this thing. Kind of skim the size of the bit. Oh no, the gravity is doing its thing. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the power parking grid. Okay, that's much better. It's not breaking. Why are the brakes so bad? I I'm, I'm literally breaking the whole time. I'm breaking. Oh god. I'm, yeah, it's probably going to be the most terrifying moment if a soccer mom felt a bit adventurous in it. Oh, do, do you know how freezing close that was? I thought I'd end up with no real bumper. Turns out not. Luck is always an important thing when you're off-roading this. Rocket hatchback. Yeah, so look at that. Oh god, we scratched it. Oh no. Feeling a bit adventurous. Should I lift the wheel? No, it's a bad idea. Just through having a wheel in the air. Oh no. Oh no. I can see the auto repair shop. Should smooth out all those scratches. Oh, 
I'm not I'm not doing anything. I'm just steering. Look at this. Okay, now I'm doing it. now I'm doing it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Gravity is doing its thing again. Had no choice, had to scratch it. Sorry, soccer mom who desperately needs this to pick up her kids. Because a sedan is not capable of taking the tough journey of the road to school. You see why why not? this crossovers are what are killing sedans. Obviously they're not like they're going extinct or anything. But Ford stopped making sedans, at least in the US. Chevrolet is probably not making another not making another impala. Yeah, they're, they're not making another impala. Ford Lincoln, which is a part of Ford, is discontinuing the Continental and the MKZ. With no new generation in sight, at least for now. And, the, and uh, the, the Japanese and German brands are holding on to the sedan digest. I guess the Japanese and German sedans are still getting sales. But yeah, these pieces of garbage crossovers are so freaking popular everywhere it's not just in the u.s trust me most new, new cars where i live in egypt crossover freaking crossover seriously the stupid captiva thing is selling like is selling like something that sells really well i swear i see them everywhere oh god we have a wheel in there Oh yeah, yeah, okay, this is going to look good in the thumbnail indeed. Oh no, 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 no! Doesn't matter. So this is what happened to the Togrek after off-roading it. Good look at that. We have a bit of a, a bit of damage in the front bumper and some scratches. The car did fairly well except that the side skirt got absolutely ruined. It would probably look even worse in real life because that scratches don't actually show in this game. But it's so, all Luckily, we can't see how bad the side skirt will look. When will, when will they add scratches to this game? They have to make scratches. See, this game needs scratches. Okay, let's rally this thing. How is it? How good it, is it at when it comes to rally? If it's not good enough, to win, will it be good at rally? To be honest, yes, it is, and let me show you. This is how good the Tograk is when it comes to rallying. In conclusion, rally a crossover no more.
I, I know I've said it like a few times, but yeah, rallying your crossover looks really fun in some videos. All-wheel drive crossovers at least, not the front-wheel drive garbage ones. Crossovers are not on World Rally. Oh God, no! Come on. But yeah, I'm honestly surprised that crossovers are not in the World Rally Championship. There should be a World Rally Championship for crossovers. Let's see which is the most rugged crossover. So yeah, soccer moms will love to watch this. There's so much what you will see. This thing does not want to one flip, then okay. But imagine a crossover world rally champ. Obviously, it will be a very slow championship. But we can see which, which we can see crossovers doing the thing they're actually good at, which is low level off roading, like speed bumps, for example. Speed bumps out of anyway. That's the video. I don't really know what to end this video with, other than this thing getting destroyed, which is the British needs to be across the crossover. Yeah, enjoy watching this thing get absolutely Beautiful, look at that freaking art. A rude crossover in the wilderness. And yeah. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Dislike if you dislike this video. Like if you like this. Why am I even reminding you? You're not retards guys. Like do the thingies okay. If you want to. 